Hello everybody, Paul Richards here, Chief Streaming Officer for PTZ Optics. Hi guys, I'm Andy Chatfield, I'm Head of Tech Support here. And here we are, another Tuesday, Tech Support Tuesday. Yep. And what are we going to talk about today, Andy? So today I wanted to keep it pretty light and just go over um, the all the possible resolutions that the PTZ Optics cameras, especially the Gen 2 cameras, can output and how you achieve those signals, what's the difference between them, uh, a little bit with interlace versus progressive, NTSC versus PAL, and then I want to explain the difference of solid frame rates versus broadcast frame rates. So I'm overlaying this, but do you want me to show it full screen? Oh, you can show it like this. Um, these are the different resolutions the PTC Optics cameras can output. Starting at 1080p 60, all the way down to 480i if you need a composite signal. Um, so basically, you can see the cameras mostly do progressive signals of the 1080p. We do have a couple of interlaced signals as well, the 1080i 60, 1080i 50. Um, what's the difference between progressive and interlaced? Basically, it all has to do with the frame rate and how it refreshes the frames, um, the cameras refresh the frames. So basically with progressive, it's refreshing the entire image every frame. So at 1080p 60, it's refreshing the entire screen 60 times a second. 1080i60, it actually refreshes half of the, the, the frames every second. So if you think about it like an American flag, it's going to do all of the white stripes one frame and then all of the red stripes the next frame. So 1080i60 and 1080p30 are very, very similar. They use the same amount of bandwidth. It's just um, 1080p30 is probably going to be a little bit better for movement and motion, and 1080i60 would not. Um, the 576i and 480i are the only two composite signals that we have coming out of the camera. Um, the only way to access those is to actually set the dial to D on the back, and this is the back of the PTC Optics camera here. You can see the little system select, the blue, di blue dial with the yellow thing in the middle. That's what you're going to use to um, basically adjust the resolution of the SDI or the HDMI out of your camera. Um, that is the main way to do it. And every time you make a change, you will have to power cycle it. So um, as you can see from, or as you saw from the, the, the resolutions that we have up, we do not have broadcast frame rates inherent to this camera. This ca broadcast frame rates are 59.94 or 29.97. Our cameras do solid frame rates, 1080p 60, 1080p 30, 25. That's what they do. Um, I hear this complaint a lot because a lot of Blackmagic stuff in particular is really looking for broadcast frame rates, which could, can cause some, some compatibility issues with the cameras, um, unless you're running at certain frame rates. To get around this, you can use a frame rate converter, like the Decimator MDHX works flawlessly, but it adds a, a bit of cost to the system. And you've got a video on how to use that I do. on our website. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention about the resolutions too, I forgot to, was the difference between PAL and NTSC. NTSC is what we use here in the States, it's 30 frames, it's 60 frames. Um, PAL are what the, is the resolution they use in Europe, and it's 25 frames and, and 50 frames. Our cameras do both. So, um, Yeah, I think that should be it for the, uh, the resolutions of the cameras and everything like that. Hopefully you guys know how to now change the resolution on your camera. and. You should be able to match it up with just about anything, any piece of gear out there. Um, Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be doing this every week, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Um, we're trying to turn a lot of this great knowledge that Andy's giving us into a course so that you, know, you can catch up on everything because there's a lot of uh, information out there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a nice day.